Um, this is Sido, um, and this one, uh, this video is video number two for Katia V5 license. And now I'm gonna show you, um, the, I'm gonna show you uh, the differences. Um, I mean, how they look like. So the license normally uh, look like this. These two files are licensed right now, and one of them is uh, Node Lock, and the other one is. Uh, um, server which is the concurrent license so let me show you how you can differentiate you can right click and open it with a wordpad or notepad but I would like wordpad much better okay okay so this is how it look likes okay. let me tell you a little bit about this so now don't worry about this stuff um, now this is the product name I mean just gonna show you stuff that you may want to know product name is that's the license that you requested so in this in this in this case the license name is BBC PM maybe it's yours different or something like that it, it has a different each product name has a certain fun functionality it will allow you to work on certain functionality in Katia so there is a different types of you know, products there okay now um, you see here where it says live see what it says live I mean license style that's the type node lock so that tells you what kind of it uh, is it you know and in here it tells you what machine you're using and here you go this is the target ID so this license only works on this machine this number right there okay so that's how you figure that out and let's see well, the server and the concurrent is almost the same thing. Okay, the only thing is that uh, uh, the only difference you might see is that it tells you where is it the type. It tells you. <laughs> da, da, da. It tells you see concurrent and instead of no luck tells you concurrent. Okay, and also by the way, it tells you here. Uh, the date starts and and when it's gonna expire that license okay and by the way also you if you change in here anything probably uh, it will not affect you I mean if you're trying to change like the dates here to make it longer time or something like that it will not work so just something that I have tried but did not okay. now I have already talked about how you can import and make it active node lock license and on other video how you can import it and how you can install Katia and I talked about on the videos where I'm talking about the installation of Katia and the, the step by step but I'm gonna show you real quick what is LUM how you can import concurrent license the server that's completely different how you can activate it let me just show you real quick now if you have uh, already installed uh, LOM, which is LOM basically is license user runtime. If you, that's that's you can get it from the um, IBM website probably. Uh, you might you may familiar with this. I'm not sure, but this is the server license where it's located. So you see like a bunch of them is is like you know on on uh, on the server. So let's say in this case, let's say the first one in this one AD1 this license. You see there is a uh, ten license. So that means. 10 users could use this you know so if user 1 came in and they could just uh, uh, point to this uh, license and if they using it then this number it will change so the company uh, license it will it will have only nine so that means there's only nine people can be uh, used and in here it tells you how many users are using uh, out of this 10 so if one using it then here it will become 9 and this will be will become 1 so there is only one user is using it in that case okay but in this case there is nobody is using it this is how the server license the concurrent uh, license using it uh, yeah, looks like okay um, all right so now how you import it so normally you, the, if you have if you received let's say a license a concurrent license and you wanna just activate it, you wanna add it in here um, you go to product and you say enroll and you could just say multiple certificates and it will open up then you get something like that then just I mean go uh, where um, where is everything you know installed 
uh, I mean where's where's your license located basically okay so you just go and you grab that license and you just activate it and you just select it and you say hit up open and then you are good to go and it's gonna be added somewhere in here so those are just a quick thing that show you how LUM looks like and LUM is the administration of LUM there is a lot of deals in here that, that, that takes me a long time to explain but maybe in this video it's not gonna be good to talk about I just wanted to show you the difference has been between node lock and server license node lock I already talked about it so I just wanted to show you real quick how you do a node uh, concurrent license alright so for this video is done we'll talk later I'll see you on next video